Hi, my name is Dr. Splickle, functional podiatrist and human movement specialist. I want to speak to you about plantar fasciitis and the difference between itis and osis. So you may have heard the term plantar fasciosis being used across the internet and may be confused on how is that different than plantar fasciitis. Let's start by talking about your plantar fascia. Now your plantar fascia is a thick band of tissue that runs across the bottom of the foot and it originates in the heel. Now in the case of excessive stress, or if you have overpronated feet, you stand long hours, you're a runner, sometimes you can cause injury to the origin of the plantar fascia where it attaches to your heel bone. This can create micro tears, creating inflammation, and then a classic plantar fasciitis. Now what's different between plantar fasciitis and plantar fasciosis is the duration at which you've had your symptoms. So plantar fasciitis is essentially the same as plantar fasciosis, it's just more acute. And then the longer that you have your symptoms, typically six months or greater, it becomes a chronic condition, and we actually refer to it as plantar fasciosis. Plantar fasciosis is more of a degeneration or a chronic change to your plantar fascia. And that change is classically around the origin at the heel. Now, why this is important to understand is the way that you address or treat plantar fasciosis and plantar fasciitis is going to be slightly different. When I have a patient in my office who has had plantar fascial pain for greater than six months, I'm starting to think maybe they have degeneration of their tissue. Maybe they have a plantar fascial tear. So what I do is I typically order an MRI to look at the state of that tissue. Now in the case of degeneration or possibly a tear of the plantar fascia, these are addressed in a very different way than acute plantar fasciitis. Classic physical therapy, orthotics, rest, anti-inflammatories do not respond the same in a plantar fasciosis. This is where we want to start looking at perhaps stem cell injections, PRP, topaz, other techniques that fall under regenerative medicine to then help that chronic tissue repair itself and become young and healthy again. If you feel like you have plantar fascial symptoms and you're not responding to the conservative treatment you're getting, I encourage you to reach out to me and learn more about the potential of a plantar fasciosis diagnosis. To learn more, please visit dremilysplickle.com.